Hey guys, what's up? It's your boy, Xander. Just letting you know, if you're not subscribed, you should totally subscribe. I do a lot of videos like this almost every day. We're off Saturday and Sunday. If you like this jacket, the sweater, really, check out the merch in the description down below. And yeah, welcome back to the show. I guess you can call this Digi Daily. I don't know. Anyway, I haven't really heard anyone talk about this. Uh, and I'm a little late to the party at this point by the time it's come out. People have already talked about it. But you guys probably care about my opinion. At least you should. God damn it. Anyway, we're going to be talking about the Vital Brace. We finally got some gameplay. We finally got some better looks of the product itself. They finally got their production models and all the other good stuff. And yeah. It's pretty cool. It looks really good. So this Japanese blog, and I'm not really too sure. I feel bad. I'm pretty sure it's some kind of famous Japanese blog. They got some product to show off. They raised, all three of them raised a different Digimon. One raised Agumon, one raised the Vmon Dim, and another raised the Pulse Mon, Impulse City Dim, which was really cool. All of them got different things, which is also very nice. They all had a, a nice kind of varying kind of degrees of success with the evolutions as well. And also Bandai, well, not really Bandai, but I think it was V-Jump, released a video of them playing with the device as well. So I'm just going to talk about the blog post first, and then I'll do kind of like a live reaction to the video. Sadly, that video, I'm either going to have to chop it up or something. I'm not going to be able to show the video in this video, but I'll leave a link to it if you want to see it yourself. Something that I have noticed now that we're finally getting to see this thing. God damn that bezel, though. It's got a real thick bezel. I really don't like that. It doesn't need to be as chunky as it is, or maybe it does because it has the sensor. I don't know. I That, that, that that bezel it's really distracting when you notice how small the actual screen is i'm getting to the bad stuff first because we get that out of the way then we can talk about the good stuff so yeah sprites are pretty small screen's really small i mean i expected the screen to be small but it's just the bezels that make it look even smaller and make it just not really look as good as i was hoping it was going to look and this is just from me looking at it in pictures once i finally have it in my hand have it on my wrist you know, I'll give you my thoughts on how it actually looks like in person because looks in a picture in a video are one thing. But once you actually have it, I feel like that's kind of another thing, especially when it comes to V-Pets too. Things look bigger or smaller in pictures than they do in real life. I talked a lot of smack about how the Pendulum Zs look, for, for instance, and I actually really like how all three of them look in person. We do see some of the menus now. Oh my God, uh, this Japanese on this thing. I don't know how to use it. I don't speak Japanese. Shut up. You're going to be able to use this thing if you don't speak Japanese. Do you think I know how to speak Japanese? Do you think I know how to read Japanese? Do I look that smart to you? I'm not. And you probably don't know how to speak it either, but guess what? These things are super simple to use. They are children's toys. They're not super difficult. The only Japanese that I have seen so far in this device are just for this screen right here, which shows the Digimon's name. It's uh, type and I think literally the Japanese word right next to the DA which would be data is just Japanese for type and on the bottom it says something else which I'm not too sure what that says but I think that's the only Japanese I've seen so far on this damn thing everything else really simple they've said it before it has simplified menus so there is that we also get a nice look at the dilution which is real nice I mean this thing looks hella nice so we have the box and the dim card now i think we've seen a picture of the box before and the box i think uh i think bandai is a little naughty because honestly the box makes the screen on this look a lot bigger than these images that we've been seeing so i don't know if these are early production models and maybe the screen's gonna be different in the full model or they just kind of made the screen a little bit bigger on the box uh i can't really say either or until i like i said i get it myself we get a nice look at what appears to be the evolution screen and it's really beautiful and involved. So it looks like it's going to be in some kind of animation where there's kind of like the lines, the kind of heart rate monitor, and then it shows you your evolution and then it actually tells you 
the name of it and it kind of looks like it reminds me a lot of like in smash brothers when like a new enemy appears it looks a lot like that red background the actual character art and it's like fully rendered which looks absolutely gorgeous i absolutely adore how this looks it's beautiful this i mean this presentation that we're seeing so far completely blows my expectations of this thing out of the water i was expecting something really simple this is already showing that it's got a, a, a nice little presentation going on here so i am very excited for this especially if this does well i feel like we would get a second generation of this that will fix out some of the kinks like battery life waterproofing and screen size uh, then they kind of in a cheeky fashion uh tap like look like they're gonna tap the two together which really i i thought it was gonna be like that I truly thought that that was kind of going to initiate a battle, but that's not how it works. You put the versus dim card in and then give it to a friend. They put the, your versus dim card into theirs and that initiates the battle. It works. That's fine. I think they should have figured out some way to do it like that. But hey, it still works, so I really can't complain. Something else they mentioned is um, one of them who was raising the Pulsemon dim actually got Namakemon, which is the kind of, you know, it's, it's supposed to be based on like an otaku slash gamer, uh, the sloth one. He said that after not wearing the brace for a day, it died. So they did mention this before that not having the brace on is the equivalent of not feeding your Digimon. You don't necessarily feed your Digimon on this one. You get points based on your heart rate and your steps. And those points kind of give your Digimon, that's what your Digimon feeds off of, which makes it a kind of parasitic relationship between you and your Digimon, or maybe a symbiotic relationship. Either way, it's a little weird how they do that, but I do I do appreciate it, I do like it. I think it's a really nice theme. They also said that the way they die, which they can, is if you're not wearing the Vital Brace for over a day, I believe, because they start running out of points to feed off of. If you're not running with it, you're not getting steps, and if you're not wearing it, it's not getting your heart rate. That is something to keep in mind that they do restart. Uh, they do die, so keep that in mind. And also to kill them, slash how to kill them is you, you don't wear it so that's going to be a little weird um I, I guess technically you could wear this thing during sleep i would i'm i plan on testing that honestly i want to see like if i wore it during sleep i mean i don't know, know how comfortable that would be but you know how that would affect you know the digimon probably wouldn't affect it that much i think would it just give it some heart rate points to chew on i don't know We'll find out when we see it. So, like I said before, they showed off the versus mechanic. Uh, it was, you know, just them putting the versus dim card in theirs and then the versus dim card in the other one. They made it sound like it was super simple. I don't know if you have to go to a menu to do this. They didn't really show that off on this blog post. Again, we're gonna watch the video after this. Maybe that'll give us some more context, but we do know that the versus dim card is how you fight other people like in real life. So you have to carry around a versus dim card with you at all times, it seems like, which is a little weird. But I mean, that's again, how you can fight people in real life. Now we do know for a fact that the app will be allowing us to fight online with other people, but that's not gonna come out until I think later in March or maybe even a month after that. We don't know exactly the release date of the app yet. This is just the device by itself. The app really isn't necessary for the device. It just opens up some more options for you for the device. And from what I've heard from a couple different sources, the app will be in English as well as Japanese, which is nice. So one other thing I didn't mention, the Vital Brace has backgrounds. We knew this before already because we saw like the background for the impulse city which is just like a city background which is very nice but there's also i think three normal backgrounds i think each of them was running the device with the different backgrounds is blue orange and a kind of yellowish color these backgrounds really make the device look a lot cheaper than it is i don't necessarily like them again it makes the device look really cheap the backgrounds that come with the dims, however, look really nice. So it does kind of add a bit more value to the dims because you get different backgrounds that can pimp out your device and make it look a bit nicer. Because like I said before, the default backgrounds, I'm not a huge fan of. They look really cheap. They're just a plain background. Um, I don't really like the look of it. Maybe someone else will, because it is very minimalistic. 
but I do prefer the kind of landscape backgrounds that we've been seeing so far that the dims give you. I like that. It harkens back to the classic Digimon look and feel, so I do appreciate that. And even in this blog post, they said that this is definitely like a new generation of the V-Pets. This is definitely like, this is it. This is the next step of the entire franchise, so... Uh, <laughs> We'll see how it goes. I, I do think it's going to be a success. I know a lot of people don't like this idea. A lot of people don't think it's going to last or do well. I have high hopes for it. I do think it'll do pretty well for folks that are older and folks that do want to focus more on their health. It's something that will help them. It, it honestly kind of tricks you into working out. And we'll get to that later. So the dim cards versus dim and they put theirs in the other one. Now, so this is something that I don't know if the final production model is going to look like this. I don't know if this is an early production model. But the special version is actually not entirely opaque. It's actually slightly translucent. The other two models, the white and the black, do not look like that. This one does, however. So I'm wondering if that is something that uh, it, that's what makes it a bit more special. It has a slightly more clearer... Um, outer kind of layer to the plastic. I don't know how that's going to look as far as aging is concerned. That really concerned me. Or also just dirt in general. Um, I mean, this is the one I'm getting, so I will be letting you guys know exactly how that is. Jess is also interested in getting one as well, so me and her might be raising two of the Vital Brace together. So, you know, I think she's getting thinking of getting the black one, so we'll see how they look, you know, in a couple months' time. Uh, and believe it or not, Ragemon lost, or actually, Dino Beamon lost to Namakemon, so it seems like the trash might be like they used to on the OGs, where they're actually really strong. So, I like that a lot. Last thing we see here is a group shot of everyone with their vinyl braces. Very beautiful. I love the way these things look. Um, again, we have one of them with the Vmon, one of them with Pulsemon, and one of them with Agumon. They all they all raise different things. The one that raised the Agumon, uh, they got um, Mamemon, if I'm not mistaken. You know, that's neither here nor there. Here's another picture of Ragemon. Again, with the green background. The green background doesn't look that bad. But again, the, the solid color backgrounds, I'm really not a fan of. So it seems like it's green, uh, yeah, uh, orange, and blue, I think, uh, for the backgrounds. The default backgrounds that you get without plugging in a dim. Then again, you, when you plug in the Impulse City, you get that Cityscape one, too. So technically, you get four. But there's three already loaded into the device at base. Again, I'm not a huge fan of it. It just looks whatever. Um, you can see right here the clock, the step... Well, the clock, the second counter, I think, is your heart rate or, like, the points that you get from your heart rate or whatever. And, of course, your steps. Now, like I said before, I think I, I think the Digimon could be just, like, slightly bigger. Just by a couple more pixels. Just enlarge the image just slightly. I think it should be taking up more space on the screen. It doesn't take up that much space at all. I don't know if they walk around either. I don't know if there's some kind of animation where they walk around or something. Haven't really seen that yet, but... And we'll see you soon very shortly so yeah if you're still watching by this point thank you very much if you're not subscribed i'm gonna remind you one more time you should totally subscribe about 20 percent of you who watch my videos are not subscribed which is kind of nuts you know you're missing out on those beautiful fights and all this cool ass news so i totally subscribe so let's hop, hop right in and uh and watch this all right So I'll tell you what, I had no idea that uh, uh, Victory Uchiha was a real person. I just know him from, like, Cyber Sleuth. I thought it was, like, someone random they put in. Look at that. It's actually a cool little reference. Look at that. How beautiful. So it is, uh, it's Vmon. So there's only two buttons on the device. I forgot to mention that. So on this side, I believe, is also the charging port. Micro, micro USB, not USB Type-C, which is disappointing. And that's the dim enter, you know. They come with these gaskets, but they said that it's not waterproof, if I'm not mistaken, so be careful with these. One, B1 looks great. It looks like he needs something, though. Also, I have no idea if you can switch it from military time to normal. Like, normal. You know what I mean? 12-hour. 
format. I don't know. Actually, he looks happy. He doesn't look angry. So, yeah. As you can see, this is the, the blue background. So we have status. That's pretty obvious. That's always usually the symbol for status. So the bottom seems to be like select. So that's like your vital points. I think they're calling it or something along those lines. And it shows that like there's 177 left that they can feed off of. And that's your Digimon's actual status, which I think is funny. Your DP, HP, AP. Your battle percentage, that's going to be very important because you need to have certain battle percentages to get um, thing. Trophies, I guess that's for like the online fighting or maybe when you fight someone in real life. Not too sure yet. And then again, we're looking at the, uh, there's some Japanese here, but it's just the name, their type, and how many days you've had them. So, again, not crazy. If you don't speak Japanese, you're going to be totally fine with playing with this thing. Training, which is interesting. So, training, you get the normal mission. Hard mission, which is interesting. Um... I'm pretty sure he's explaining exactly what this is but from what i understand uh missions are pretty much like you set them and then you work out yourself and that counts as like training for the digimon so when you're training your digimon you're training yourself which i think is awesome so a special mission has three cups which i'm assuming is like real hard you know like run a mile or i don't know and then advanced mission Maybe that one's like go somewhere. I don't know. I'm worried about that one because it shows like a like a spot, you know? Like do you have to go somewhere specifically in like geolocation? I doubt this thing knows your geolocation, so maybe it's just based on like distance. And then light and then app and then settings. So app I guess is for the oh we're right here. So you're gonna see right now. So the light, I'm guessing like when they go to sleep, or maybe this is the backlight of itself. Oh no, the light is back up. Okay. And then you can, it's like the DMX or the Pendulum Zs where you can back up a Digimon while you're raising it and swap them. That's pretty cool. And there you go, now he's raising a Pulsemon. Okay, that's pretty cool. So all the way over to app. I don't know why it's a light bulb. That makes no sense. Oh, settings. Okay, so we got clock. Can we make it as well our clock? Background. And then light. Again, that's weird. Yes, we have blue, green, orange. Orange isn't too bad. And then the actual uh, impulse city background, which is beautiful. I really like that background. And, you know, the, the lack of space on the bottom of the, on the top, like, the fact that they're all the way in the bottom of the screen makes more sense on these because they're, like, you can see that he's on the land. Like, if he was up higher, it would not look right. It would look weird. So that's another background, it seems like, there. I guess that's the one for the Vimon Dim. So he goes to hard mission, and it tells you to do 20 squats. So, yeah, training is, like, your own training. So now he's got to do squats. That's really cool. I wonder if it's different workouts, you know? I wonder if certain, like, training, like, you have to do whatever it tells you. Or maybe you can just put it on and do whatever you want. Because I was hoping that, like, you know, if I wanted to go running somewhere, if I wanted to do push-ups, like, I could just, like, do that while in the training mode. Oh, you got a good... Now, this... The special vital brace that he has doesn't look the same as the ones that the people have from the blog post either. So it's like, I don't really know how the retail ones are going to look like. I, I'm assuming these are the ones that are, this is as close as they're going to look at to retail. I'm, I'm really not too sure. Bye. Okay. So yeah, that is, uh, 
essentially it. Just a quick look at the Vital Brace to look at all the menus. Nothing too crazy. Like I said before, they usually don't get into the nooks and crannies of how every device works because they want us to find that out, and I love that. So we saw the menus. We saw what some of them do. We saw how the training works, and training is just you go work out, and I think that's very interesting. Although I don't know how that's going to work for those of you that uh, aren't capable of doing certain workouts i don't know if it actually knows you're doing the motion i highly doubt i think if you do something that is somewhat of a workout that you're moving your body and getting your, your heart rate up it will count as a training but i really don't know pretty much it there's nothing really else that's too crazy that i think they showed off that we didn't already know but i'm really happy that we finally saw some gameplay because this is the first time we've ever seen gameplay and this was just posted about three days ago as of recording this video on february 13th so again not a lot of people are really talking about it so i did want to show it off to you guys and uh, let you know that hey this is how it works so far this is what we know and uh, like i said i'm really excited for this this might change some people's minds though on whether or not they want to get this device it does have a beautiful screen it has amazing animations and again the idea of it is super duper cute but I still don't know if this is enough to grab the people that are skeptical about it. Um, but we'll see once it finally comes out, because that's one thing. You know, I've heard people say before with the pets that you know, they weren't too interested, they're going to skip out on it. But once they see people playing with it and having fun with it, then they're like, ah, I should have got it, and they wanted to get it. Thankfully, this is not like a FOMO type thing. You don't really have to fear about missing out, because this is a full retail release. The white and black Vital Brace will be released at retail in Japan, of course, but still... It's not going to be a limited stock like what they normally do with most of their V-Pet releases up until now. So if you do want to get one later on, you can without having to spend ridiculous amounts of money uh, as far as scalper prices go. So yeah, I'm very excited. I cannot wait for this thing to come out. I'm just like, I wish it was on my wrist already, honestly. Uh, I'm really excited to see how it goes. Uh, I, I think it's going to be really fun. I, I've been wanting to work out. I've been wanting to start getting more healthy. And, and this is really going to help me, honestly. I mean, you saw how it works. You know, when you pick a mission, it just tells you what to do. And then you do it. And then it kind of grades you, whether it's good, great, or bad. So it's just like when you train on the any of the V-Pets, you know. You do the training. And depending on how you do it, you either get good, great, or bad. And that depends on what you end up getting as far as evolutions go. So, yeah. I really appreciate this, and I love I love it. I think it's great. Um, but yeah, that's it for me. Thank you so much for watching. If you got this far in the video, thank you so much. Leave a comment. Let me know what you guys think of the Vital Brace. Did this change your mind? Are you thinking of getting it now? Did this not change your mind? And you're still very against how they're doing things? You absolutely hate it? Uh, or are you still kind of on the fence? And you want to see until you know some YouTubers get it and start really showing it off for you to you know think about getting it or not um like i said i was already sold on it before but this definitely helped me just completely i'm like totally down for it now um but yeah like i said let me know how your thoughts are huge shots to my patrons thank you so much for supporting the channel especially during these times i really do appreciate it you have no idea and like i said if you want to support the channel like comment subscribe buy the merch be a member join the patreon or just watch the videos that's really all i can ask for at the end of this video there'll be an outro and the image was done by a lovely artist commissioned by jess of course and i wanted to give her a shout out because her art is amazing and her commission prices are almost criminal i think she should really be charging more because she has such an amazing art style and it's great her name is Lixie Fusions underscore art on Instagram. Check her out. Maybe commissioner too, because she does a great job. And if you like this video, like I said, just click some videos that you see at the end of the video at the end of this video. And you know, watch one of my playlists. That's it. So if you want to help out the channel. So yeah, that's it. Thank you guys so much for watching. I really do appreciate it. Xander out. Peace. Ooh.